Native. Yeah, we yeah. claim him. I yeah. know he grew up in Colorado, <laughs> right. but you know what? We'll claim him. <laughs> Good enough. If you're born That's here, right. you're from here. Hey, right. there you go. That's right. <laughs> Amen to that. Yeah, right. <laughs> So a lot of snow there. Yeah, well, if we, had, if we had snow machines in our backyard, <laughs> right. Lena, we'd be okay. Uh, yeah, it's, it's been pretty snow free, relatively yeah. speaking. I mean, Christmas is really the only storm and we didn't have much snow with mm -hmm. that. Um, I should have started, I'm just thinking graphic wise, I should have started with how below average we are this year, but we are below average by quite a bit. <laughs> We're uh, below average. Yeah, any, no, <laughs> <What do> you... <laughs> not just us, Lena, but the snowfall as well. <laughs> I hear Nick and Lena on the background. Lena laughing in the background, you're next, buddy. Nick, Nick's nodding. He's like, yep, yeah, that's the truth. All right. Uh, anyway, tonight, in terms of the below averageness, uh, temperature is actually right near average tonight. We're going to be in the 20s tonight. Notice the moon coming out, right? We're going to see some clearing skies. We said goodbye to the lake effect. Had a little bit of lingering lake effect. Had the clouds that just were stubborn today to erode. And you can see the last couple flurries there fading out towards the Ravenna area in Portage County. Bigger picture, this is really the last little breath of the storm system that went by with all the rain and the record temperatures this week. This is the swirly low pressure part. It's really falling apart. We're left with all these gray skies. Clouds are so hard to erode this time of year because there's not a strong sun angle. There's not a lot of energy from the sun, so they just kind of sit, and that's kind of been the case across the Great Lakes. We're going to keep an eye on this system tomorrow. If you joined me all this last week, we were talking about how models, some of them brought a decent snow in here. Some of them kept it south. Well, it does look like they're going to stay south, but with some of our southern communities may pick up a little bit of snow tomorrow. Again, not too impactful. National Design Mart Hour by our forecast. Clouds hanging tough tonight. Tomorrow morning, we get some sun peaks in there as winds swift around to the south. You notice how temperature is not too bad either, up near 40 degrees tomorrow. Here come the clouds late in the evening. This is that system down to the south bringing some snow to our southern communities. This could be briefly moderate at times tomorrow evening, maybe an inch or so out of this, especially the further south you get, and then it's out of here. No problems expected for your Monday morning rush hour. In fact, Monday sees improving conditions with sunshine breaking out, and we should have high temperatures once again up near 40. All the action's been out west. Boy, California's just been getting drilled system after system. They've got another one moving in here tonight with heavy mountain snow, some three to four feet additional snow on top of the five to six feet they got over a couple days ago. Lots of wind with this and look at the storms lining up. But this little atmospheric river, this ribbon of water vapor that you see here is all channeled at California. And on Monday, they're going to get a big old storm with a lot of rain and a lot of wind. And in terms of the drought monitor, yeah, we could use some rain here. They could really use it out west and they're going to get more of it putting a nice dent in that drought. In fact, exceptional drought has gone away in Florida for the first time in a couple of years as they continue to improve. What about us? Our coldest days of the entire year are typically January 18th through the 20th. That's when our average high falls to 35. So we're getting into our coldest days, at least climatologically of the year. Uh oh, what's this? These aren't the coldest days of the year. We actually go up near 50 degrees by Thursday with our average sitting in the 30s. Well, what's going on? Well, we've got a zonal flow across the country. We're keeping that cold air up in Canada, but there are some changes later on this week. We're expecting a bigger system to move in here Thursday, Friday with some rain and then colder air and some snow on the back side of that. Doesn't look to be a game changer in terms of the pattern, but it may turn us a little bit more wintry around here as we get into next weekend. Union Hill Mortgage 10 day forecast. You notice our climb to 50 this week. Ooh. Not a bad week out ahead of us. And then next weekend, we'll be watching that system later this week to bring some colder air. We're above average. We're above <laughs> we, average. Sometimes we are. <laughs> very, very.